So today we're going to be talking about the heating and cooling of the building, right? And depending upon where you're mining and how you're doing stuff, this is definitely going to affect you. You could have some issues. All kinds of things could be happening right now. Depends on where you live, what the climate's like. If you're in your house, you really don't have to worry about this too much. But if you are definitely out in your garage or shed or anything like that, you definitely need to pay attention to this because there is humidity, precipitation, and the dew point that you got to watch because you don't want to start having too much humidity and start creating moisture in your mining environment, right? Because, hey, they ain't going to like it, right? Right? Everyone, they're going to be upset about it. So let's go ahead and let's look at a few things, you know, and how I have kind of my fan set during the winter time. You can see the fan wall is off right now. And I set this kind of higher than what I'd usually set it at if, if I'm trying to keep it cool in the summertime, right? I have it set here at about 100. So it, it comes on and off sometimes, right? Because it's gonna be dependent upon when the heat builds up from these rigs over here, right? When it gets here and it's been turning on and off. And the reason for that is, is I'm trying to build heat back in the building, okay? Now I could also open that door and have some of the heat come back in. And that's another thing I kind of do at night when the temperature drop down super low because you have to keep in mind that whatever you're pulling in over here, this morning when I got here, it was 27 degrees, right? But that's the air from outside. As the air is coming in and getting pushed in from everywhere, right, passively, it's actually getting cooler. It's getting even colder. So you have to really pay attention to the air, the air flow in your environment, right? You don't want things getting too cold because this is also going to start having issues when it's getting too, too cold. And you can see the fan just came on here. I have this fan set to about 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So you don't want to be setting this stuff like super low and just having to pull all the time. You're going to start creating a lot of problems for yourself and you could get some moisture issues in here. You got to be careful of your humidity, your dew point, because you also have to realize that however cold you have it going in there, okay, when you start going into these octaminers right here, okay, it's getting cooler and then it's instantly hitting the hot GPU, okay, that could really make for some bad stuff. So you really want to pay attention to your temperatures out here. I know a lot of people, um, you know, some people in the community that run containers and things like that, and they really pay attention, especially in ASIC farms. ASICs are very particular in the environment and temperatures that they operate in and the humidity. It's something you have to be very, very careful of. So this is just some of the stuff that we do, you know, at Terra Hosting and stuff like that. So. You kind of, this isn't just like, hey, I got a fan back here that just stays on all the time and it's just sucking the air in and keeping everything cold. That's not it. Sometimes in the winter time, you will see your rigs get a little warmer or it may even seem like it's summer temperatures in here because we're trying to actively heat the building and, and keep it at a certain temperature, right? Because we don't want it too cold because of some of these issues that you can't have. Now, for some of you guys who have some smaller setups at home, obviously, you may not have to do things like this, right? Obviously, it's just, this is for bigger setups and things like that. I suggest you guys just get like, you know, just get like a, uh, a little temperature gauge and, and some of them even have humidity on there, right? And this way you can actively watch the humidity in the building. So it's really important to kind of keep an eye on that, right? Now, traditionally where we are, it is a little bit drier here in Kansas than in most places, so the humidity is not really bad. but. You know, you kind of run into issues with that, you know, when you get into the winter time with snow and ice, other stuff like that. So it's something else to keep in mind as well. Now, here in Kansas, we have been having freezing fog lately. So this is another reason why we try to actively keep the heat going in the building, right? Because if you come back and look at our filter wall here at our ASIC facility, it hasn't happened here quite yet, right? But 
you know, here on our, uh, on our, in our, you know, in our ASIC site that's humongous, it's the, the filters were freezing with freezing fog. So luckily we haven't had that issue here, but this is another reason why we're keeping temperatures in because if this intake gets blocked, all of these fans here are going to start starving this building, right? And then when they start starving the building of air, it's actually going to start creating more and more heat in here. And then it's just going to be a whole nightmare. There's obviously some people, and I, I think everybody makes this mistake. They do the grow tent route. That, can, that only works for small stuff, man. I had a grow tent. I mean, I'll talk about it a little bit. I had a grow tent. I had like 10 rigs in it. Not 10, maybe like six. Like six rigs in it, and the thing was always on fire. It was awful. Don't do it. Don't do this. Don't do the stupid grow tent. I would not recommend that to anybody. Don't use AC. I know everybody loves using AC because you have cooler air, but know this. You could even mine in the middle of the desert, right? When it's like 120 degrees, right? Because GPUs typically sit at most GPUs, if you're a decent miner and know how to properly set your stuff, you can have them sit at 60C all the time and they'll run perfectly, okay? That being said, you can cool GPUs with 120 degree weather, but what it comes down to is not how cool the air is that you actually have on the GPUs, it's about how much air you move. That's the name of the game when it comes to ASIC mining, crypto mining, or any of that. It's not how cold the air is, it's how much and how, how much volume you're actually moving through the ASIC machine, right? Or the GPUs or whatever it is that you're using to mine. Now, some of you may be asking, how, how, how much, you know, how much CFM do I need? How much, how much heat do I have to remove, right? Some people are like, I don't know the answer. I don't know what, I don't know how to calculate this. So there's kind of a, a, a basic calculation that you could kind of go by. And if you double or triple that, you'll always be great. So for every one watt is three BTUs of heat. So keep that in mind. One watt, three BTUs, as I'm pretty sure what the math is. So if you're always double or triple that, then you'll always be sitting great in your farm. You can never have too much, I mean, you can have too much airflow. That can also be a problem because what happens is, is you're actually, you're, you have too much negative pressure and you're putting, you're sucking the fans pretty much and actually you'll start reverse spinning the fans. So that could be an issue too. So you kind of want an even, 50-50 mix, right? Maybe 60-40 is the most you might want to go as far as your negative pressure. So kind of keep that in mind when you guys are, you know, thinking about how much CFM do I need for my mining farm.